it's much better rotation, you really turn into the ball and you can see how much better the ball play looks than it was before. Yeah, I got you some more teeth here. <laughs> yeah, make sure you're doing your pre-shot routine. That's really important with your driver. One thing I like to do is kind of visualize one of your favorite holes and that you're hitting the driver on it. Another thing you can do is visualize a really famous hole. Number 18 at Pebble Beach. It's a really good one to pick. I'd probably be out by the trees in the fairway. That'd be a long drive. Get a glove. You know, gloves help. Some people choose not to wear them. But it's personal preference because they can give you a lot of grip during your swing. Chunky, but better. Make sure you're doing the pre shot and see what before the rest. Before every shot, it kind of slows you down a little bit, stops you from hitting a lot of balls. That was good, Nick. Can't even see it was going so far. I just released it a little bit too early. Come on, I think I'm gonna take another one. Now, remember what we talked about last time when you were hitting the wedges? So I want to make sure you get that lag. Yeah, it's really. And kind of help you get down onto the ball. It's kind of like a reverse physics thing. Yeah. You get down, it goes up. That's better. I mean, you're kind of aimed out there. Yeah, yeah. So just make sure you know you're going through your pre-shot before, so you can really line up where you're going. Pick out a spot that's right in front of you. Tortilla, you look ready for your club championship coming up.
right along the shaft of the putter. So bring your left one back a little bit. There you go. Ooh, almost. That's a much more in-line stroke right there. He had it going back and forth right along the shaft. Might be aimed a little left. Perfect. That'll stop you from kind of hitting behind you. You just get moving. Yeah. So you know, when you're going back, let your wrist move a little bit. One thing I really like to do with my lag putting is look at the hole. You know, take your practice strokes. Really feel out and visualize, like we're talking about with our full swings, how you want the putt to go, where you want it to start, and the break. I mean, if you're looking at the hole while you're making practice swings, it helps your mind see what you're trying to do. And then once you have a really good feel for what the putt's going to do, you can hit it. One other thing I really like to do when I'm putting, I think we might have talked about this earlier in another, another swing, is look at the ball last, right before you hit the putt. It's really good. Because if you're looking at the ball, it helps you complete your follow through. And it makes the stroke smoother, it helps you get the ball more in your front of the club face. And if you're looking at your putter as you're going back, you have a tendency to move your head and other parts of your body if you're not trying to do it. You want to make sure everything else other than your shoulders and your arms is really still. That's really good, Nick. A little hard there, Wes. Maybe slow it down and aim a little bit more to the left. Nice smooth stroke. Oh, great way to end it right there. You want to make sure when you're practicing putting, it's for probably twice as long as you're doing everything else because that's where you're going to make your score. That's how you're going to start breaking 80, winning your club championship, improving your game. So it's really important that you're going out, trying some three-footers, five-footers, really working on your lag putting because that's what's going to help you get up and down. 
You know, it can make make that part of the bunker that you really need. If you're doing practicing a lot of like 15, 20 footers, there's a really low percentage chance that you're going to make it. So it's not going to make you that much better as a player.